Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and this is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Thursday, August 3rd. You can see some scattered showers and thunderstorms out there again today, with a flood watch in effect for portions of eastern Idaho. With the overall pattern continuing to be unsettled weather and cooler temperatures through the weekend, I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key points for focus on today. Locally, heavy rain will be possible through Friday. We'll see isolated flash flooding due to some excessive rainfall. Think some of those slow-moving, stronger storms. Uh, we do have a flood watch in effect, for, again, for portions of the upper Snake Plains south and east to Utah and Wyoming. That'll run for about 9 to 8 o'clock today. Gusty winds and small hail will be possible with some of those stronger storms, but the overall pattern continues to set around unsettled and cooler weather as we round out the later part of this week, with temperatures beginning to trend warmer as we head into early next week. Quick look at satellite for you this morning. Some nice and cloudy skies out there to kick off your Thursday. Start to see a little bit of clearing out there towards the southeast Highlands, Bear Lake, Franklin County area. We'll continue to see that work further northeast. But anywhere that we can get those clearing skies today helps to generate some of that instability. Those will be where we can expect to see some of those stronger storms today. Water vapor satellite showing a lot of moist air working into our area today. The system will continue to work northeast into northwest Wyoming and southern Montana over the coming days, helping to keep chances for showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. Weather well, Scott, look for your next five days. Make it starts today. We'll center around showers and thunderstorms with localized heavy rain, particularly across the eastern Snake Plain, southeast and eastern highlands, with that continuing into Friday as those storms do shift further east with localized heavy rain up towards the Island Park area. But for Saturday and Sunday, just some general risk of showers and thunderstorms, again, each day peaking in coverage during the afternoon and evening hours. But for Monday, those storms do begin to shift northeast out of the Magic Valley and South Hills. Watch as warnings and advisories in effect. So we do have a flood watch in effect for portions of the Upper Snake Plain, further south and east towards Wyoming and Utah. But we do also have a red flag warning in effect from the National Weather Service office in Boise for a red flag warning again for critical fire weather conditions across portions of western and western Idaho and eastern Oregon. Probability of thunder today, so you can expect those best chances across the Hawaii south and east of the Snake Plain. Again, that's where we can expect some of those brighter colors here, the yellows and oranges, where you can see those best chances for thunderstorms, with decreasing chances as you head up into Lemhi County and into the Panhandle. Excessive rainfall outlook from the Weather Prediction Center today, so we do have at least a slight risk. That's at least a 15% of some isolated to scattered flash flooding possible. Again, this will be highly dependent on where we can get those slow-moving trading thunderstorms to develop. And where we can see those, certainly can see some rainfall rates pushing maybe 1-2 inches an hour in some areas. And even this morning, down in the Black Pine Mountains, that's west of I-84, uh, closer to the Utah border, they picked up about an inch of rain in about three hours this morning. So certainly it's already highlighting uh, the risk of some heavy rainfall out there today, especially as we begin to make in, mix in that afternoon instability. Here's a quick look at what we're going to expect for model reflectivity, so one model's interpretation. But starting off the day, at least for the radar-wise, uh, you can start to see some of those storms beginning to fill in across portions of the lower Snake Plain, south to Utah, as well as some storms working up through the upper Snake Plain, uh, Teton Valley area. These will continue to kind of work uh, in that, that cyclonic flow again, counterclockwise, and the HER model here shows a pretty good idea of that. But later today, again, starting to see those showers expand further north this morning. Again, starting to see that whole, uh, not a whole lot going on in the southeast highlands during the early morning hours. That'll quickly change as we head into later this morning through the early afternoon hours. And we see some scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms continue across the area region-wide. Some of these, again, will be starting to see that heavier precipitation. So any of those brighter colors there, yellows, reds, and oranges. Those will be starting to see where you can expect some of the heaviest precipitation to work through. But as we head into 2, 3 o'clock hour, seeing some scattered, scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms again. Uh, we're and mostly as that's going to be confined south and east, we're still going to see some isolated to scattered activity further north and west. Heading into the later part of today, we start to see some activity pick up in the Owyhees and up towards Island Park later for this evening. But beyond that, um, at least trending a little bit more isolated as we head into the overnight hours. With cyclonic flow in place and wildfire activity across central Idaho and western Montana, we will start to see some increased wildfire smoke and haze beginning to filter into our area today. Again, nothing too impressive, uh, but certainly going to see some increased haze. And you can see there on all those fires starting to pick up and, and take as far as uh, afternoon heating and whatnot. And we're going to continue to see that smoke work southwest into the central mountains, so especially up towards Chalice, Sun Valley, Stanley area, with higher concentrations as you head up towards Missoula and Kalispell. Quick comparison, this is a look at 12 a.m. Saturday to 12 a.m. Friday. So you can see there the big difference across southern Idaho. As the systems works northeast, we should be seeing some improved air conditions, especially across portions of central Idaho. Temperatures today kicking off the day in the 40s and 50s, low 60s further south. We'll have afternoon highs back in the 60s, 70s to low 80s, with more warmer conditions across portions of the Magic Valley and Salmon River Basin areas. Looks like warmest area today, up towards Salmon, up pushing about 90 degrees. Probability of thunder for your Friday, so we've seen decreased chances, especially from what we saw today, but certainly carrying about that 20 to 40 percent chance in the mountains, 40 to 60 percent in portions of the Tetons Island Park area. 
excessive rainfall outlook for Friday. So from the Weather Prediction Center, again, just a marginal risk for your Friday. That's at least a 5% chance. Again, that's where we can expect the best chances for that localized heavy rain potential, generally up towards Fremont and Clark counties. But certainly across the area, we'll continue to see some isolated scattered storms, just trending less on the heavy rain side. Temperatures for your Friday looking just about where we were today. Overnight lows are going to be in the 40s and 50s, starting off your Friday with afternoon highs in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, noticeably cooler further north. Temperatures on Saturday starting off the day again, 40s and 50s, with afternoon highs slightly warmer. Uh, start to see a little bit more 80s coverage, especially across the lower valley. Afternoon highs, 60s, 70s, and mid-80s. Temperatures on your Sunday, starting off the day a little bit cooler in some of our mountain bases, low to mid-30s across portions of the central Idaho. But outside of that, we'll see afternoon highs in the 70s to low 80s. Some of that cooler temperature is still holding on around Island Park and Spencer. Temperatures for your Monday, again, starting off the morning with those temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Coldest areas in the 30s with afternoon highs a little bit cooler or a little bit warmer uh, for Monday, uh, starting off the afternoon hours with the 70s to mid-80s. And that's about all I have for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have a great day.